Welcome to Physics Farm. You're just in time. The fall crop of vectors are just about to sprout. You can help me add them together. Of course, round here we only add vectors with a ruler and a protractor. None of that big city calculator stuff. You okay with that? Well, all right then. Wait, I hear one now. Look out, there's one. A nice blue vector. Watch now, there's a red one. Oh, and they're collinear. They'll add together real well. Oh, jeepers. That there vector's grown in at an angle. Guess we'll have to add it together to the other one with a ruler and a protractor. A yippee! Let's add two non-right angle vectors using a ruler and a protractor. We're going to add 3.5 centimeters east and 5 centimeters at 30 degrees. Now we're going to do this by drawing an xy axis and then we're going to use our ruler to measure out exactly 3.5 centimeters going exactly horizontally east. Next, we're going to put another xy axis at the tip of this arrow because I want to make my two vectors tip to tail. That's a key for adding these together. So I'm going to grab my protractor. I'm going to measure out a 30 degree angle. Be real careful about this. Then I'm going to use my ruler to measure out exactly 5 centimeters. Now, that's the hard part done. Our two vectors are tip to tail. Now I'm going to put in the resultant. The resultant is always tip to tip and tail to tail with the two vectors you start off with. Just draw that vector in. Then you can use your ruler to measure how long it is. And you can use your protractor to measure what the angle is. And you'll notice, as always, we're looking for the angle between the two tails. So for this pair of vectors, the resultant is about 8.2 centimeters at 18 degrees in the RCS system. Let's try another one. Here we're going to add together 60 meters per second at 40 degrees west of north and 30 meters per second directly south. Now the first thing I notice about these two is they're not measured in centimeters, they're in meters per second, which is different. And even if they were in centimeters, I couldn't fit 60 centimeters and 30 centimeters onto my paper. So I'm going to need to use a scale factor. I'm going to pick a number which can divide easily into both of our values. In this case, I think I could divide by 15. And this is going to give me numbers that I can actually measure out easily on my piece of paper. So for the first vector, I'm going to measure out 4 centimeters, and for the second one, 2 centimeters. Let's start off with that first vector. I'm going to measure out 4.0 centimeters, 40 degrees west of north. So I'll make an xy axis, and I'll put the west and the north on it. Then, starting from the north, I'm going to measure out 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees to the west. Then I'll use my ruler to measure out exactly 4 centimeters. Next, I'm going to go in and draw my second vector. Remember, my vectors have to be tip to tail, so I'm going to put the 2.0 centimeter south vector tip to tail right next to my first purple vector. Now my resultant is always going to be tail to tail and tip to tip with the two original vectors that I put down. So I'm going to use my ruler to carefully draw out a line between the tail to tail and tip to tip space, that's going to be 2.8 centimeters, and I'm going to use my protractor to measure what the angle is between, in this case, north and the vector. Here the angle will be 67 degrees west of north. Now remember initially we applied that scale factor, so to get a final answer which is in the correct scale, I have to take the resultant magnitude and just multiply it by whatever scale factor I chose. So I have to take that 2.8 centimeters, multiply it by 15 to give me a final magnitude of 42 meters per second. Nothing changes in the angle though, we don't apply the scale factor there. Well that was fun. Now you're an expert at adding vectors with a ruler and a protractor. Of course, if you are one of them button pushers who prefers doing it on a calculator, check out this other video on adding non-right angle vectors using vector components. I'll see you later!